happen, but it would have to go through the process of, of so, the... But why I'm going to jail for it? You just, that's how the process works. Why don't you drive her down the yeah. way? No one likes being arrested, but if you commit a crime, you've got to be willing to do the time. And then you have a crack pipe in your hands, so it's like... Wait, sorry. Now the cops don't care if you're at work, at your home, or at a preschool. If you've done something wrong, they'll be there. So from a councilman being arrested after he was at court, to a DoorDash driver that decided to dash to the floor, and all the way to an employee that decided to steal from his employer. Here are people getting arrested at their jobs. So let's get straight into it with our first one. When you were 17, you probably did normal 17-year-old things, like go to school, hang out with your friends, sneak a few beers, and play some games. Well, this 17-year-old decided that he wasn't going to do these normal things. Instead, he decided to steal from his employer. Here's what happened on June 10th, 2022, when Chambly officers arrived on the scene. So, 17-year-old, on June, on May 28th, he started doing uh, fraudulent returns at the register, um, both for cash and putting money in his checking account by doing returns to credit. And that's the dollar amount, 2267.34. So there's all these transactions are on video as well. So in just 10 days, this 17-year-old took almost $2,300. The manager of the store tells the officer that the culprit made a statement and that he has all the paperwork right there. The manager and the officer talk for a bit, but when the manager asked the officer what the process was going to be, he was given a shocking answer. So what's the process because he's a minor and nothing He's happened. not a minor. I thought he was uh, 17, you go to big boy jail. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh. So if you that. guys want to prosecute, he's going to DeKalb County. I'm going to talk with him first. Yeah. Um, Is it because of the felony charge? No, it's because no. of his age. His age? Mm -hmm. okay. 16 and younger, you go to yeah, DJJ, Department mm -hmm. of Juvenile Justice. 17 and older, you go to the local county. It's crazy. 17, you go to jail, but 17, you can also be locked as a runaway child. Interesting. Mm -hmm. You can see that the manager feels bad for the kid, but calls the big boss to make sure that he wants to prosecute. And the big boss said... Yep, the, the boss says we're going to go for prosecution. The man escorts the officer through the store while Coldplay's banger plays over the speakers. The officer gets to our suspect, who is quite relaxed. At least he was until he heard he was going to the big boy jail. The officer reads him his Miranda rights and goes on to ask him a few questions. Are you willing to answer any questions without an attorney present? So I have to have an attorney? What do you mean? Like, so I have to speak to an attorney or? No, that's not what I said. It's no, 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 I know, no, I, I understand what you're saying, but I'm like, but the yes or no, like, like. Would you like to speak to me without an attorney here? Um, I can. Yes? No, like, no, like, um, I, I want to, in a, like, like both. I mean, if you rather talk to me with an attorney present, then we can't talk right now. Okay, so which one is better for like us? I can't answer that for you. Okay. I can only ask you this, and it's either yes or no. Uh, okay, so uh, I'll talk with an attorney. Okay, perfect. Just hang tight, okay? Yeah, yeah. Our culprit's starting to realize that this situation is a bit messier than he thought it was and asked the officer if he could call his mom. In the footage, you can clearly see how scared he is because he knows that he messed up. Luckily, he was quite cooperative and didn't try to fight off the officer. But as soon as those cuffs were on, he played the I'm a minor card. Stand up. Are you going to call my mom at least? We'll call in the car. In the car. So we're, we're calling your car. Huh? Wait, your phone phone I'll, I'll get you. I'll get it for you. Wait, put your phone, phone on the seat. Going. Put your phone on the seat. Right. Okay. Thank put you. your hands behind your back. Just, just face the wall, bro. I'm, I'll answer your questions, okay? Call my mom. Why do I have to call your mom? What do you mean? I'm on the. I'm on the. Okay. You're being placed under arrest, though. Where am I going? Cal County Jail. Wait, I didn't ever call my mom though. I don't have to call your mom, sir. Why? You're I'm an a, adult. I'm a, I'm a minor. I'm only. This bit really reminds me of the duck season, rabbit season joke between Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck. You're a minor. No, you're an adult. You're a minor. No, you're an adult. Rabbit season. Duck season. Rabbit season. Duck season. Rabbit season. Duck 
season. I'm a minor. I'm only oh, yeah. 17. I just turned 17. State of Georgia. You All right, so can you at least call my mom, please? I said I will. All right, so can you get my get her number from my phone, please? Okay. But I got to put you in handcuffs. You're going to jail. Wait, but for what, though? For theft. What are you talking oh, about? I, I asked him. I literally asked him. I said, can you take the, the money off my check? Literally. Okay. Excuse me, Mr. Croker. I don't know your name. All right, so I asked him, can you take, like, the money off my check? Yeah, unfortunately, I contacted corporate and my instructions from my boss was to press charges based on the dollar amount of 2200. Huh? Press charges? Based on the dollar amount, correct. But, uh, when I'm a minor, man, I, I, I asked you, I said I could, I could you could take it off my, my check. No, I, I, I will work for the check. No, I understand, but I, I have a boss, like everybody else, and my boss instructed me to contact the authorities and file charges for, for the theft of the $2,200. That's what I'm saying. I could, I could literally put, like, pay the dues back. That's what I'm saying. No, I, I understand. Well, that'll, that'll happen, but it'll have to go through the process. Of, so, of the, but why I'm going to jail for it? Because that's, the, that's how I'm the process minor. works. In Georgia, you're not. The manager tells our arrestee that he's been fired, and over time he'll pay back what he stole, but he's still arrested. In 10 days, he stole $2,200, but the manager is still trying to help him. Sadly for our thief, he can whip out $100,000 right now, but he's still going to jail. No amount of tears or pleading will get him out of this. He's escorted from the building while Ava Max's banger of a song plays. And when they get to the car, the officer checks his ID and calls his mom. Hello? Daniel, what happened? Bro, I, I try to tell them, bro, that for me, I, I, like, I could give them, I could give them all the money back, bro. It was not for me. For me, it was not for me, bro. Who was it for? It was for Ray Sean, bro, because he was homeless, bro, and I was helping, bro. Who's Ray Sean? Ray Sean, the one that I always used to be with in New York. The one that, that, that was like family, and I was, and I was I don't know. He said that he said that I'm. Yes, ma'am, I am. See, he says since I'm 17, I, I gotta go to jail. But how? Sir, please explain to me what's happening. Yes, ma'am. This is Officer Black with City of Chambly. So we were calling. I gotta, I gotta, uh, I gotta like spit. Can I spell this for please? Go ahead. So we were called to Five Below by the law prevention, stating that your son, Jamir, um, over the course of 10 days, did. Of 16 yeah. transaction frauds totaling into an amount of $2,267.34. Of that okay. $2,267.34, $1,556.18 went to his debit card and $711.60 he took out in cash. Okay. So, being that he did fraudulent returns, they wanted to prosecute and pursue charges on him. So being that they want to pursue charges on him and he is 17 years of age, he gets transported to DeKalb County Detention Center. He does not go to juvenile court. He is 17 in the state of Georgia, 17. You are an out. His mother was quite distraught and asked the officer what was gonna happen now. The officer tells her that they're going to the county jail and that her son will have a warrant and go before a judge and then a judge will tell him what his bail or bond is. After that, he could call her and she could go over and get him out. The young thief talks to his mother over the phone and the officer tells him that he shouldn't worry too much because by later that day or tomorrow, he'll already be out of jail. It's not murder, it's a death. You ain't gonna be in there for life gonna be in there your mom gonna come and get you and then you'll be out you'll be out today as long as your mom can come up there yeah she can that's why all I'm, right I was so, so, so calm down i don't like being locked up bro it's like my fourth time being locked up bro the young employee was charged with theft and taken to jail. After many tears and a call to his mom, he felt a bit better. The officer gives the address of the jail to the mom and tells him that after he's booked, he would go in front of a judge. His mother yells at him because he always gets manipulated by his friends and other people, especially since he has autism. I'm so disappointed. Like I said, I'm just concerned. My son has autism, and I just don't, you know. I got you. It's not, like I said, like I, you know, explained him to help him calm down. It's not the crime of the century. It's just a, it's theft is what it is. The officer handled this situation perfectly. There was no fuss or drama and everything went smoothly. So what do you think about this arrest? What do you think about 17 year olds being charged as adults? And what do you think is a fair punishment for this 17 year old? Let us know down in the comments and let's get straight into our next arrest.
Our next culprit tried to make a break for it while New York police questioned her about an alleged reckless driving incident. Now you've most likely seen a short part of this video as a bystander took a video of the incident and when it went viral, people from all over the world were upset with the officers. However, that was only a part of the story. As the woman searches through her phone for the paperwork, the officer and the other woman talk for a bit. As the woman that was driving still scrolls through her phone, the officer once again asks for her license, and it seems as if this woman isn't going to give her license to the cops without putting up a fuss. Or maybe her license is a special color, a color the cops just can't see. Why? I don't, I don't understand. I'm doing Uber Eats. I, I'm I doing a job. Do you to she has a license. Well, you were driving I, this. Yeah, though. but I was driving too. Yeah, but she was but driving. She was driving. I, but I drive it too. That has nothing to do with She was saw. driving, so we need to see her license because she can't I'm be I'm about to show you my license. title to the bike, sir. Right. I'm just trying I to... Understand, I understand, I understand, ma'am. I'm doing a job right now. I'm a licensed driver, so she, since I'm with her, it, just, it, doesn't that make sense? This is no, great. Main question is, is there's no registration on the vehicle yeah. right now. You slammed a girl for no reason? Sir, she was trying to escape. Now the officers might have gone a bit overboard, but why did she try to run? The friend of our suspect kept on recording, and the man who tried to intervene pulled out the race card before he walked away. This whole situation could have been handled calmly if the woman didn't try to put the dash in DoorDash. Our suspect tells her friend to call her mother because her uncle is a cop. Call my mother. That's my uncle's a cop. You did that's your that's so far. I just reminded you how much I did. You still have the 49 CC. No. I'm doing it. Put my hat on my head, Carly. I'm doing it. Delivery. Yeah. Work around it because you have to. All you need to do is work. But I have the license. I told you that. You have to pay for the car. But I have it. It doesn't matter. I have it. I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing. Yeah, I got the, I got a screenshot of it in my phone. I'm not, I told him I'm doing Uber Eats. Then provide the game or not run. He's not a run for no reason. Because you are harassing yes, me. He's telling me I need a license. I don't have a license for the bike. Now, when I was younger, I usually rode around in the passenger seat with my mom. And since she had a license, I guess that means, by their logic, 10-year-old me could have been driving on the freeway. A lot of people around the cops are making it seem like they messed up, but we can see both sides. The officers were doing their jobs, but the bystanders only saw a short part of what happened, so we understand why they reacted that way. But let us know what you think and who you think was in the right here. The officers picked up the motorcycle while the male and female yelled in the background, just like they'd been doing this entire time. She literally admitted to running because she didn't have a license, and still, people tried to make the cops look bad. 
Now I do admit, calling in a hundred other cops to the scene might be a bit of overkill, but with the massive scene the other two were making, I get it. The woman was charged with reckless driving, obstruction of governmental administration, and resisting arrest, along with multiple citations. In Rhode Island, a councilman had a wonderful time in court, so he decided to smoke some crack. When officers found Matthew Riley, he was passed out in his car with a crack pipe in his hand. The now former Cranston City Council member resigned from his position as chairman of the Cranston Republican Party after pressure from the mayor and other council members. As the officers approached his car, he was seen sleeping with his mouth open and had a lighter alongside a pipe in his hand. Oh, no way, dude, really? Yes, yes. I was just taking, I was just on my way back from court. Bro. Well, arrest is gonna come check you out, man. I can't let you go. You were literally choking in your sleep. Somebody flagged me down about it. Oh, I have sleep apnea. I'm sorry. Well, and then you have a crack pipe in your hands, so it's like. Come Wait, on. sorry. But listen, I, I have a body camera. Obviously, yeah, everything obviously. I have is recorded. You know that, and what I've observed is on camera, so I can't pretend I didn't. As far as I know, there's no anywhere, so I no. can't. You know, so there's not a criminal investigation. There's more a health or well-being check type Thank thing. Thank you. Yeah, I obviously have to document it, you know. We can have that back. Thank you. There will be no arrest? No. Um, is there any, are there any in the car or anything like that? No, no, nothing. All right. As the officer questioned him about his drug use, the councilman comes clean and tells him that it was a relapse and that he struggled with abuse. As the EMTs arrive and check him out, the cop searches the car and finds a chore boy, something drug users use to make a crack pipe. As backup arrives, the officers test the drugs they found in the car, and believe it or not, it's crack. Surprise, surprise. The councilman is arrested, but he only cares about what the media is going to see. Well, we, we don't report nothing to the media unless someone tells them, so and then arrest records are public record, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, there's, there's, there's not much we can do on this. Unfortunately. If I was in your situation, I'd be in handcuffs. No, no, I'm not saying. You know? Oh, I'm not saying don't rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In terms of media for kids, as much. As yeah, no. Require. Listen, we are only required to release what we release, and we won't. We have to release an arrest record by law. You know. All right, jump in before you. Just step on in here. I'll buck you up. What's that? Getting you to say, who, oh. who's gonna come get this car wrapped up? Oh, my car's getting fixed. Oh, this isn't even your car? No, it's a rental. It's a loan. All right. Yeah. All right. I mean, there's shit on the seat. Drugs on the seat. Matthew was given a drug possession charge, but that wasn't the worst thing he did. Oh, no. Matthew Riley was arrested again a short while after this incident and faced sexual assault and child molestation charges. This was less than a month after he was arrested for the drugs. A former Cranston City Councilman has been arrested for the second time in less than a month, this time for allegedly sexually assaulting a minor. I think I now know why you went through a messy divorce, Matt. In Rio Rancho, New Mexico, a postman was a bit on the drunken side and crashed into a parked car while he was on his route. When the officers arrived on the scene, they could clearly smell alcohol on the man. They asked him what happened, and he tried to explain his side of the story after he was patched up, but sadly for him, his story made no sense. What happened? There's a rock in the middle of the road. Let's go square by the way of it. The LLVs are really shifty. Okay. So I went to go square, avoid the rock.
Earlier, when the cops were walking down the road, they searched for this so-called rock, but they couldn't find it. Now this rock is either really small, or it's the same color as our aforementioned DoorDash driver's license. The man walks with the officer, and it's time for him to follow the officer's finger with just his eyes. You can probably guess how that went. What, follow my finger? With just your eyes, and keep your head still. I said so. Because I'm doing the test on you and I got the sun right in my face. That's why I put you this way, so you wouldn't be squinting. So can I put my glasses down? No, because I have to go to see your eyes. Okay? Okay. You see my finger? Just follow my finger with just your eyes. Keep your head really still for me. Okay. I'm looking at you right now because your eye keeps coming across your face. Okay, I want you to follow this. Don't look at me, just look at this. What do you say, look at me? What? Follow my finger with just your eyes. Okay, now we're gonna go up. Follow my finger up with your eyes. Come on. The officer decides that it's time for a field sobriety test. However, he quickly tells the officer that he can't do the heel to toe test because he has a torn meniscus. Luckily, there's more than one way to skin a cat, so the officer asked him if he's graduated high school. What I want you to do for me then, I want you to count backwards from the number 72 and stop at the number 51. It's an awkward number. Why is that? It's like weird. From 72 to 51? Start at 72, 72, backwards. 72, 71, 70, 69, 68, 67, 66. It's not math. It's just counting backwards from 72 to 51. Why are those numbers? Those are the numbers that I use. I've been using them for 17 years. Randomly decided those numbers? Yeah. 70, what number did I tell you to stop at? You remember? Maybe math isn't his thing, so the officer tells him to say the alphabet in the correct order, but he has to start at the letter I and stop at Q. Which, believe it or not, he does actually quite well in that test. After one more test, the officer decides that it's time for the breathalyzer test. Take a really deep breath and then blow for me until I tell you to stop. What's that? Why? Uh, because you smell like alcohol, and I need to make sure that you're under the influence, or not under the influence. I passed all your tests and... Well, the tests aren't designed to pass or fail. Okay, the tests are designed to show impairment. You can't do the physical field sobriety test because you have an injury. Okay, the test that I've given you, you showed impairment. Okay, you crashed your vehicle into a parked vehicle here. You smell like alcohol. Okay, so I'm do doing my investigation to make sure that you're not impaired. And you're telling me you haven't had anything to drink today. So, blow into this, you blow zeros, and you walk. So are you going to do this? Yes or no? No? Okay. Now if I wasn't under the influence, I would have just done the breathalyzer test and gone on my merry way. But someone has another idea. Or maybe, just maybe, he lied about not drinking. The officer instructs the driver to do the nose and finger test. And let's just say it goes swimmingly. What if I'm dyslexic? What if you're dyslexic? Dyslexia has nothing to do with doing this test. I guarantee you that. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Right. You don't know which one it is? Okay. What I'll do then is I'm going to say left and then I'll touch your left hand. Okay? Put your arms out to your sides. Index fingers out. So you head back, close your eyes. Tilt your head back, close your eyes. Okay. I want you to put your left finger on your nose right here. Okay, bring it back. Right. Bring it back. Left. Right? 
right? Right? This one's your right. Bring it back. Right? And your left. This is your left. Bring it back. You know what's kind of scary? That you're driving a vehicle around and you don't know left from right. And that's kind of scary? You find that kind of weird? After many failed tests and no breathalyzer, the man is finally arrested. And when the officers take a sniff of his Minute Maid apple juice, it's quite clear that it wasn't just your normal bottle of apple juice. It was in fact vodka, and our intoxicated driver smelled exactly like that. The suspect was booked on aggravated DUI, and the United States Post Office was able to retrieve the mail and had it delivered. Our drunken suspect was taken to jail, and since all this happened last year, hopefully, if he is driving around, he's doing so without being intoxicated. So in this video, we've gone through a few situations of people being arrested while they're on the job, from a drunken mailman to a DoorDash driver that drove around without a license. Oh, and let's not forget a thief that stole more than two grand in just 10 days. So, which story did you enjoy the most? And do you have any stories of people being arrested while they were on the job? Let us know in the comments below because we'd love to read them. And we can't wait to see you in the next video. Remember to like and subscribe for more content like this, and we'll see you next time.